Welcome to my channel. This is Jacko's Crypto. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about whether Bitcoin and crypto are entering a massive bear market. And I'm going to be showing you all what I would be doing with my investments, especially Bitcoin and crypto, of course, um, right now, because that's a very important question that a lot of people want to know the answer to. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my opinions and what I do with my own investments. So if you guys take that as advice, then that is, of course, your own decision and you need to do your own research before making any decisions with any investment. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Now, remember to smash the like button on this video if you do enjoy and subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you never miss an upload. OK, so let's get right into this. What is causing all of this massive fear in the markets at the moment? And that is going to be, unfortunately, because of Russia's invasion into Ukraine. This unfortunate event is evidently affecting the global markets, stocks, crypto, um, gas prices are rising very quickly, um, which hasn't happened in quite a while in this manner, right? So obviously, this Russia and Ukraine conflict has a lot of influence around the globe. And many people are fearful on whether they should be buying or they should be selling, right? They don't know, exactly know. And that's why everyone's just ending up selling since they don't want to lose money. And they think that's their best bet just to take out the money, get cash and hold on to that cash. However, when we actually look at similar events like this, war conflicts, we do see quite a trend in terms of how it affects the market. For example, if we look at US terrorist attacks from 2001, obviously 9-11, we see a drop of about 11.6% and it took about 31 days to recover, so a bit more there. Um, and we look at other things like Pearl Harbor. This was probably the worst one in terms of how long it did take um, to recover. It went down about 19.8%, so it went down the most out of any of these. Um, and it took about 307 days for the market to recover. Russia, of course, they do have a big impact across the globe, um, not as big as the impact of, let's say, United States of America or some other superpowers in terms of gross domestic product and actually how much money um, they create and jobs they create for the global economy. That doesn't mean Russia isn't important or Ukraine's not important. It just shows the influence and if it's actually going to cause a global crash, um, a continuous continued crash, right? So obviously we are down a little bit right now. Bitcoin's trading at about 38,000. It, it dropped to about 35,000 just yesterday, but then it did move about 10% back up. So it kind of bounced there and we could definitely go lower. We could go between 32 and 35,000, no problem. And that was kind of going to happen in my opinion before this Russian invasion, um, unfortunately. And it looked like we were in for another crypto and stock market crash. Crash. How long will this take to actually recover? Personally, I think it's going to be in the range of two to six months. We could see things start picking back up and stocks and crypto um, and gas prices slowly coming down and then crypto and stocks obviously doing quite well, hopefully. But the main importance right now is that those people in that country is safe um, and hopefully we can resolve this in a way that doesn't lead to a mass uh, worldwide war because obviously that would be very bad for not only people um, and countries, but additionally, the stock market, crypto, um, and just pretty much everything would most likely crash really hard if that happened, especially when you combine that with um, the current pandemic, right? And those types of things and fears already that are in the market um, and that could cause even more fear to come in and really bring about a massive market crash. Now, personally, again, I see these times as discounts and as buying time. So I'm looking for deals. Of course, I do believe it could go down lower, but either way, it's a better price than 69,000, better than 50,000. So I see it as a deal and I will be buying um, incrementally um, dollar crafts averaging all the way down on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and with some of the altcoins I am staying away from just because the altcoins are are so volatile. So if Bitcoin goes down another 15, 20%, altcoins could go down another 40 to 60%. So really, I don't want to be in for that drop. I'd rather wait until I see Bitcoin and Ethereum doing well again, and then buy into those altcoins just to minimize my risk. Of course, it's not just affecting Bitcoin and Ethereum in the top projects. It's affecting the overall market, right? We saw the total market capitalization of all cryptos 
um, pretty much fell to about 1.5 trillion on Thursday. Um, and that's the lowest we've been in a while, fell over 9%. And this could definitely lead to a further crash. When we look at those past events, when we look at other things that have happened, similar, um, worse, whatever you want to call it, I don't want to debate what's worse because these, these are all very traumatic events um, that affected the lives of many different people and countries, right? So, so I'm not going to debate what's worse. I'm just going to say these events are similar in nature. And we saw a minimal impact on the overall market. Of course, in the short term, like a couple of months, we could see very volatile movements in crypto, in stocks, and pretty much everything. Um, so I wouldn't be trading um, during those times. Of course, investing is fine if you're dollar cross averaging. That's what I'm doing, like I already said, right? So it's really up to you and up to your investment style. Personally, I believe in Bitcoin for the long term, for the next five to 10 years or more. So I don't care if it goes down another 20% or even another 30%. I believe in Bitcoin, so I will be buying all the way down and all the way up. Same with Ethereum, pretty much. When you get into the lower cap altcoins, that's when it gets a bit risky. And unless you really believe in the project, understand it, love the team and the technology, I wanna be buying during very uncertain times like this. That's just my opinion. Other people really make a lot lot of money off the altcoins during these times but personally I'm not scared about missing out on a 50% or 100% gain on an altcoin I would rather just wait until Bitcoin moves and then get in on those altcoins yes I might miss that first 20 to 50% in growth but I will most likely still get a lot of growth in a very quick amount of time compared to other markets another thing to know guys is that a lot of the fear for this Russia and Ukraine conflict has already been factored into the market in the weeks leading up to Russia invading Ukraine yesterday, right? So a lot of the downside could have already came. I'm not saying that's going to be the case for every market like stocks um, and gas prices, but I definitely think that could be the case for crypto. We actually saw a fall because of this matter of about 20 to 25% when Bitcoin was approaching 46,000. And then it started falling about a week and a half to two weeks ago and obviously fell about 20%. And now it's sitting at about 38,000. It dipped to about 34, 35,000 yesterday. Um, however, if you actually look at it, we saw just a normal crypto crash or a crypto pullback of over 50% from 69,000 area to about 33,000. And that was nothing to do with a war or Russian conflict or anything like that. So that just shows you the market can fall a lot harder than that based on just a pullback, based on technical levels and that type of thing, right? So of course, this is a very big deal for the global economy, um, gas prices, stock markets, and crypto, but I really don't think it's going to cause a year plus um, crash in any market really. It could happen in stocks, but still I think overall, the markets will recover in about two to six months. I could be underestimating that. It could be a lot longer. It could be even a lot shorter, right? So no one really knows. Um, and that's why this video is not financial advice and none of my videos are, right? I'm not a professional investor or trader. Um, and pretty much nobody is on YouTube. Um, however, we just use indicators, technical analysis, and fundamental analysis to make the best decisions on um, our investments, right? So that's how I invest anyways. I'm not sure what other people do but that's how I invest and it's been a very successful method for me and like I mentioned before I will be continuing to buy Bitcoin even during these times if you find it hard to see your money dropping in value when you invest into Bitcoin then maybe don't invest right now because again it is very possible we go to the 30 to 33 thousand dollar level maybe a bit lower I don't see it going much lower than 27 28 thousand that's just my opinion of course but if you guys don't know the reason I'm talking about Bitcoin so much and not the other coins is that Bitcoin pretty much controls the market, right? It's the head honcho. And when Bitcoin moves, everything else reacts. If Bitcoin goes up, everything else seems to go up a lot more as well. And if Bitcoin goes down, everything seems to drop much faster and harder than Bitcoin. Let me know in the comments what you guys plan to do with your crypto and Bitcoin. Um, if you're going to be buying in during these times, or you're going to wait and see if it goes lower and pick up an even better deal. But there's no guarantee that can happen either, right? So just remember that if you believe in Bitcoin and crypto for the long term, then getting in at these levels 
is a very good deal, right? No matter if you get it at 38,000, 34,000, 33,000, 32,000, it's all a good deal if you believe in Bitcoin, right? If you don't believe in Bitcoin, if you think it's gonna go to zero, then maybe it's not the best time for you to be buying um, if ever, right? So if you do believe in it, you definitely believe it's going to return to those all-time highs of 69,000 plus um, and even go to 80,000, 90,000, 100,000, nobody knows, but I definitely seeing it hit $80,000 plus even by the end of this year, right? Because I don't think we're going to end up in a red or a negative year for crypto altcoins or even stocks in general, right? Because yes, stocks are down about 9% um, total this year in the first two months, but I think it's still going to end up in the green um, later in the year. Or if it does end up in the red, I don't think it's going to be a very significant drop. That's just my opinion, not financial advice, right? So if you guys do like my content, um, follow me on my Twitter at Jacko's Crypto. There I share a bunch of insightful um, tweets, I guess you could say, about the current conditions, um, crypto, stocks, NFTs, all that good stuff that you guys love hearing about and I do as well. And that's why I create these videos for you, right? because I'm absolutely obsessed with investing, with crypto, with Bitcoin, with altcoins, and with NFT. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this upload. And if you did, remember to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and peace.